Pennsylvania has been a leader in several industries, including food processing and prescription drugs. But when it comes to renewable energy, the Commonwealth ranks significantly lower than other states. South Dakota, for example, has an impressive 83% of its energy solely coming from renewable sources. Pennsylvania has just 3% of this type of energy, from wind, solar, and hydropower combined. The Commonwealth currently generates about 13,000 megawatts of electrical energy annually across 27 wind farms. That's enough to power 350,000 average American households. However, climate change is beginning to force federal and local governments to implement clean, renewable energy sources and phase out dirty energy sources like coal. The last year Pennsylvania updated its energy production targets, known as the Alternative Energy Portfolio Standards, was in 2004. It called for 8% of the total energy produced in the state to be from renewable sources by 2021. Pennsylvania was able to reach this goal, but only by borrowing clean energy from nearby states. This has prompted many to push for increased attention in the wind energy sector as rapid growth is expected nationally and internationally in 2023. The Global Wind Energy Council in Brussels, a leading representative for the global wind energy sector, is projecting up to a 680 gigawatt increase in onshore and offshore wind energy production by 2027. That would be enough to power an additional 657 million homes annually. Back at home, the nation saw a decline in the wind energy market in 2022, mainly due to inflation and government policies. But according to the most recent report from the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, or IPCC, the U.S. might not be able to meet greenhouse gas emission goals if society doesn't take even more action. Scientists found that temperature projections for the year 2030 may be as high as previous projections for the year 2100. This is important because it means there is still much more to be done to counteract this warming. Increased funding from the Federal Inflation Reductions Act is also expected to jumpstart Pennsylvania's plan to construct more wind farms and increase its clean energy percentage. Currently, plans for offshore wind farms on Lake Erie are being explored, but they do not meet construction guidelines yet. This is a critical location for potential wind energy because windmills would be able to be placed far offshore away from most human activity. Governor Shapiro has recently pledged to have up to 30% of the Commonwealth's energy production generated from renewable sources, including wind, by the year 2030. Increased attention to the wind industry is crucial for Pennsylvania to adapt to a change in climate and become a leader in renewable energy. For Weather World, I'm Dan Guzman.